welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to show you guys how you can turn your visualizers from this to this it's really simple and easy to do and i'm going to show you guys how to do it today and before the video starts i just want to let you guys know that i created a script for after effects that basically allows you to make any 3d scenes just by clicking on one button it saved me so much time since i was just making visualizers for a long period of time and now with this script i can do it in a couple of clicks if you're interested the link will be in my description and there's also a huge sale going on right now so you don't so you do not want to miss it and if you're still hesitant on buying it i got you with a promo code that will save you five dollars the promo code will be promo5 apply it and save up five dollars on the product so with no further ado let's get back to the video okay so now i'm in photoshop what i'm gonna do is simply prepare my visualizer so i'm just gonna have to select my subject and as you can see the selection was not perfect at all so i'm just gonna polish it like so i'm gonna pick the areas that was not picked like the armpits the elbows the select subject button is really useful but it's not perfect so you still gotta help it to have a perfect result now what i'm gonna do is simply ctrl c and ctrl v to have my subject into another layer as you can see my subject was separated successfully but the only thing that i have to do is simply remove him from my background so what i'm gonna do is simply make a rough selection around the subject like so it, it doesn't need to be really precise now what i'm going to do is simply click on generate to fill click on generate without writing anything and this will give you that i'm gonna put this generative fill layer underneath my subject and i'm gonna merge it with the original background and as you can see the subject and the background layer are separated so i'm just gonna save that and i'm gonna launch after effects now what i'm gonna do is simply import my psd file make sure that the import make sure that this is in composition mode and click on ok and as you can see we got a composition just double click on it and as you can see this is literally your photoshop file so now what we're gonna do is simply set up the visualizer and animate it it's really simple and easy to do all you have to do is simply pull out 3d5 pro click on create 3d camera you can scale the background up just fix it a little bit now you can add some camera shake and simply adjust the camera you know now I'm just gonna add some keyframes for the camera animation. Okay, I think I like it like that. So I'm gonna select all of my keyframes. I'm gonna click F9 on them to make a smoother animation. Okay, I like that a lot. Now to spice your animation up with compositing, what you can do is simply use layer styles. So before applying the layer styles, what you're gonna have to do is simply go into composition, go to composition settings, go to 3D renderer, and make sure this is in classic 3d and not in advanced 3d now click on your subject right click on his layer click on layer style and you're gonna have to put a bevel and bust layer style this will give you the, this hedge type of effect all you have to do is simply click on bevel and bust right there and you can actually mess with the settings and what i'm gonna do is simply match the highlights with where the light is supposed to be and i can actually pick the size i think i'll leave it like that because i like it a lot and you can also pick the color so i'm gonna make it red a little bit like that and i'm gonna increase the size also so what you can do is simply add more layer styles so what i'm gonna do is simply right click on it again layer style and i'm gonna click on gradient overlay and i'm gonna make sure that the black color is at the bottom part so what i'm gonna do is simply click on gradient over overlay and i'm gonna put it in a way where the black is at is at the bottom now as you can see we cannot really see our subject anymore so what you can do is simply play around with the blend mode simply click on normal and click on color burn because i really like it a lot and i think i'm okay with my subject you can also do, do the same for your background so what you're gonna have to do is simply select your background right click on it go to layer styles and i think i'm just gonna do a simple gradient overlay on it uh, and i also want the black part to be at the bottom so i'm just gonna do the same with the angle put it in a way where it's at the bottom like that okay then at blend mode i'll put it at color burn and you can also change the color of the gradient by clicking on the colors edit gradient so the color that i want to change is the black one so i'm just gonna put it red like so purple is not bad so it was an accident but it doesn't look bad i'm gonna save this right quick now you can go back to the main composition and what you're gonna have to do is simply put some overlays inside of your project make sure that you have a folder full of overlays and just 
mess around with them drag and drop them inside of your project so what i'm going to do is simply add a particle overlay on it i'm going to put the mode at lighten and as you can see it really adds something to it and i added this blue gleam overlay on it so what i'm going to do is simply change the mode to lighten again or add it depends really on the looks that you want to achieve but i want this overlay to be purple and not blue so what i'm going to do is simply click on it go to the fx control panel and then i'm going to go to fx and preset i'm going to type in hue and saturation and i'm simply going to make it so it's purple so simply play around with your overlays until you have something that you like and i'm going to put this light leak overlay on it also i'm just going to scale it down so it can fit the frame i'm going to put its mode at add and as you can see it already is start looking like something decent so now what you can do for the final step is simply pre-comp everything and now what you can do is simply make some blurry borders i really like to do that so what you can do is simply select this layer ctrl c and ctrl v to, to copy it now in the second layer what you're gonna have to do is simply search on search blur inside of the fx and preset panel go ahead and click on camera lens blur now what you're gonna have to do is simply go to the shape section pick ellipse tool and then what you're gonna do is simply create a circle like so in the middle and as you can see it's only blurring the middle so what you can do is simply go there on the mask one you're gonna click on invert it and now it's only gonna blur the borders with your color correction i'm just gonna add some contrast to the overall thing i'm not gonna go crazy on it and that's how everything looks it's still a good result with the amount of time that we passed on this visualizer i literally click on two buttons to animate it and i simply drag and drop some overlays to make it look better the video is finally over if it was helpful don't hesitate to comment subscribe to my youtube channel and don't hesitate to leave a like i'll see you guys in another video